Hi everyone, happy summer. I wanted to do a June garden tour. I have a lot of lilies in bloom right now. Um, we had a drought um, for about five weeks um, and it just recently started raining regular, you know, regularly, which is like usually twice a week in the summer. Um, but we had a lot of drought, so that's why there's a lot of browning of some of my lily leaves. Um, but this lily here is called Happy Returns. It's a yellow lily. Then I have this um, Asiatic lily that I've had for years. Um, and this spring I planted ranunculus back here. I'm going to dig those up and save the corms. Here I have some more lilies. This lily is brand new this year. And there'll be some more lilies blooming. Over in this garden bed, I have some more of the Happy Returns lilies, along with all my sweet williams that have just um, started to produce seeds. I'm gonna collect a lot of those seeds and spread them in different areas of the garden. And I have, um, there's my Josie lilac shrub and some more lilies that I had planted. I'll put a link to my lily planting video in this video so you can see what I planted this spring for lilies. And then over here I have more of the Happy Returns lilies. And then I did some experimenting this spring planting a lot of hardy annuals. This is Cerinth, um, which I do think is really pretty but it did have a little bit of aphid problems. I'm not sure I'm going to grow it again, it just didn't grow very tall. I was growing it as a cut flower and it just um, didn't perform all that well over here and this area does get some afternoon shade so maybe that was the reason but this is the syrinth and then over here I have some feverfew that hasn't started blooming yet and then there's some more lilies um, down here there's some bupleurum and this didn't really produce all that well for me. As you can see, the um, stems are pretty short. I thought this was going to be much bigger. Uh, it's probably due to my soil. I do have clay soil here and it's not been amended over here. Um, it, I really haven't grown much over in this garden bed before, so um, the soil is not really fertile probably and that's why I have such short stems. Um, I did grow a bunch of Snapdragons over here and I've been cutting them. They have been getting pretty tall. Um, they do flop, so next year I might try to net them. But I am getting some decent snapdragons. And then over in this garden bed, I do have a lot of yarrow and I'm gonna try to replace my yarrow. I do enjoy yarrow, it is deer, pretty much deer proof. But this year all my yarrow got attacked by aphids. Um, pretty badly so and I've had this problem before with the aphids and the yarrow and it's just they just cover the plant so and I use organic methods but I've tried you know squirting with a soapy solution I've tried neem it's just it's so out of control the in terms of the infestation that it's just not worth it anymore for me to grow yarrow so I'm going to try to grow some more perennials um, to replace the yarrow this is one of my favorite flowers. It's a um, pest-free perennial called Maltese Cross. And hummingbirds like this plant. The deer sometimes nibble on it, um, but it bugs leave it alone. These are just um, poppy seed pods that you can put in a, in a flower arrangement. They look very nice. They last a really long time. Here's some more lilies. There's a cat mint. And then my lavender just started to bloom. I have three big lavender, four, four lavender plants. Let's see, one, two, three, five lavender plants. So this is one of them. This is the oldest one. And over here I have a native um, bee balm. And I'm not sure I'm gonna keep it because it does get powdery mildew, which I know is common with bee balm. I've grown um, hybridized bee balm before. This is my first time growing the native version of it. Um, so we'll see how much I like the flowers, but um, I'm not crazy about the way the stems are looking all brown. 
I have a lot of um, blanket flower in bloom right now, which is really nice. Here's some more catmint. The bees really like the catmint, especially bumblebees. And then there's so much yarrow in here. Um, and you can see on the stalks, they just are loaded with aphids. All that dark, dark coloring on the below the um, flower head is all aphids. So I will be replacing these. This is a crepe myrtle. It blooms in late August. Then I have a lot of brown-eyed Susan in here. There's a little bit of um, Maltese cross. And then I have some comb flower in here, which I really enjoy. It does get eaten either by earwigs or possibly in uh, the Asiatic beetle, which we get. We get these brown Asiatic beetles, um, but I still really like them. So, And then I have Liatris, which is completely pest free and the deer do leave it alone. So I have a lot of Liatris. I planted a lot of Zinnia down here. So that'll bloom in September. And then there's a lot of butterfly weed. It's a bright orange. It makes a great cup flower. And then I have a lot of blanket flower. I'll come around to the other side of the garden so you can see it from that angle. But I think that the orange from the butterfly weed goes pretty nicely with the blanket flower. And then there's some rose campion, which is a bright fuchsia. And then the clematis is still blooming after all these weeks. This is our mailbox. There's more lavender. It smells really nice. I haven't seen any butterflies yet on the plants. We've had a pretty cool spring and very dry. And then here's some lovely yarrow, but again, infested with aphids, so I'm going to take this whole bed out. This is coneflower. This is a perennial geranium down here. There's a lot of coneflower in this bed. And then there's yarrow, which is um, cloth of gold. It's a bright yellow, very tall yarrow. It's very cheery. And this one only has a, like one, I'm only seeing one stem with a lot of um, aphids on it. The rest of the plant looks okay. There's some black-eyed Susans here that haven't bloomed yet. Now I'm going to walk around to show you what the garden looks like from over here. Here's the lavender. Here's the blanket flower mixed with the yarrow and the rose campion. It's starting to get really hot and humid today. So we'll have Liatris blooming in a couple weeks. I really enjoy blanket flower because it, it will bloom all the way up until the first frost. Please excuse the background noise, it's my neighbor's kids and my na other neighbor's dog. So thank you so much for watching this June garden tour. I'll be sure to do another tour in a couple weeks. 
I have some more flowers blooming in my little veggie patch and I'll show you those. Happy gardening!